Hey guys, welcome back to Star Property TV. If you have not subscribed to us, make sure you do like and comment on our videos too. This week, I have the privilege to talk to Mr. Chow Hao Chun from Chin Hins Group. He's the managing director and he has a very fascinating and inspiring story. So make sure you stay through the show. I hope you enjoy the show. So tell us a little bit about yourself because um, from what I know, you have a little rough time growing up and you managed to bring yourself to another level right now. You are one of the youngest CEO in a listed company. So tell us a little bit about how did that happen. Mm. I was actually born in a small town of Alostar. Mm. And about 40 years ago, my grandfather started a hardware shop. And this small town is, was about 45 minutes driving from Alostar. Mm. So mm. I was actually grow out in a small kampong. So later, my father ventured into cement trading business. And that's how our whole family moving from this small town to Alosta. Mm. So, and when I was 13 years old, while well, I still study about in uh, secondary school, I was actually dropped off from school. Okay. But you were curious, right? What yeah. did I do? Yeah. Right? <laughs> I joined a gangster mm. and I was stopped schooling for a couple of years. So I did all the nonsense thing and I, I even went to the rock up for five days. Can you imagine that? Mm. A young kid like mm. me, 14, How 15. Old were you that, time? that time I was 14, 15 years old. Okay. Yeah. So and and being the eldest, my whole family was very disappointed on me. Mm. Um, so later uh, what did I do? And I, I never went for school. So um, sometimes I was away from home a couple of weeks and, 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 and rooming around, mixing around with a bad company. So later when I was 16 years old, because back then I never attend second school, I don't even know how to speak a basic English. Yeah. So one day when I was 16 years old, um, my father was asking me, how Chun? Would you want to consider study a basic English in Singapore for two years? So I just thought to myself, since Alosa already nothing for me to play, yeah. right? Yeah. So I just thought that, hey, myself, go to Singapore for two years. Mm. To me, my, my, my thinking was, myself, go to Singapore to play for another two years. That, that's, that's my thought. Mm. So that's how I went to Singapore. So initially, when I went to Singapore the first year, when I was 16 years old, I was still the same. Um, although I was attending a language school, study the basic English, but I was always roaming around in Ocho Road. Mm. Because that time I was 16 years old, under the Singapore law, I wasn't allowed to stay on my own. I was required to stay with Singaporean as my guardian. So this, gu this guardian introduced me uh, a tuition center, which was five minute walking distance from my house. So I went for this tuition center. I met this tuition teacher. So she shared the gospel with me. Mm. And then I was very curious. So, but later, after the encounter, after this spiritual encounter, I decided to believe in Christ. And that was also for the first time in my, in my life, I started to have self-reflection mm. about myself. I look around myself, I look around my friend. I was, that, back then I was already 16 years old, mm. but I didn't study my secondary school. And, and I look around my friend, they are almost want to finish their secondary school already. So that's how I decided to start over again my secondary school. So on 16 years old, for that year, I attend the intensive language school. The second year, I accepted by government school in Singapore. That's how I started my secondary one at the age of 17 years old. Wow. So, and I, it took me four years in Singapore government expert stream to finish my secondary school. So later, I look around, wow, oh, now I feel like like a normal people yeah. finish a second school. Yeah. I also look around my, my friend that most of them are going for their degree. Yeah. So I just thought to myself, no, I want to be like a normal person. 
to finish so my degree. degree. So that's how I went to Melbourne mm. to study my uh, university. Yeah. I know that it's a family business yeah. that you're in right now, but what makes you take up the role of a CEO? So being the eldest in the family, um, after I have a transformation in my life when I was 16 years old, and I start to have a sense of responsibility that I will want to grow my family building material business. Mm. And as I share with you, I go out in a hardware shop. Mm. I have observed my family member working in the hardware shop, working with the building material. Somehow, I found my passion in the building material. Of course, when I was 23 years old, I was fortunate that my father willing to empower to me, even when I was 23 years old. Mm. And you see, everyone deserves an opportunity, even for myself. So I'm fortunate that I appreciate my father empowered to me that allowed me to make big changes and already a big changes yeah. like venture into upstream manufacturing business and even to the property business. Through the years that you have been a CEO right now, the revenue has shot through the roof yeah. for the company. So what makes you decide to take up the changes in the company? Okay. When I first came at I was only 23 years old, you see, uh, same like you. Uh, when we came, we, when we first graduated, we were kind of lost. Mm. What, which career, what we want to be focused in our business. So I was kind of lost when I first came back to look after this cement trading business. So on the second year, I have my encounter with my mentor. And I call him as my mentor mm. because he, I have so highly respected on him. That's how he inspired me. How he inspired me? He introduced, he, he was retired from his, he was a, um, a, a, one of my competitors, retired CEO. Somehow he introduced me, his ex staff in Tengganu. So at the age of 24 years old, I went to Tengganu as my first headhunting job. Mm. And I was very young, I don't have any experience, that was really my first time. Mm. And don't know why, somehow this professional manager decided to join me. And not only himself, he brought his own team to join me. So my branch, in Tengganu, literally from nothing, in short period of two months, went out to five million. Mm. I was like, short. Wow. Now, I know in business, it's all about the talent. Mm. That inspiration has really transformed my life. That allowed me to know that in business, it's all about the talent. So, after that incident, for the next few years, I put all my energy, attention to look for talent. Somehow, I able to identify and bring in a good talent. In just short period, a few years, we would, I was just transform a small tra tra cement trading company into one of the largest building material distribution company. It's all about the talent. Yeah. And that principle also guided me in my leadership, how I manage all my businesses. Mm. I, want to, I, I want to make sure that I got the right talent in all my businesses. Being a leader at such a young age yeah. for your company. So I believe um, some people will doubt yeah. um, your ability to lead. Yeah. So what makes um, the difference in, the, in this company where how did you um, get your team to believe in what you believe in? Mm. You see, uh, when I came back, our employee was only less than 70. And we were less, less than, than 70, 70. people. Mm. So today we have grown, we have grown the business up to 1,000 employees. And all the key senior management, all recruited by me, all hired by me. 
So at the first place, if they are, do not trust on me, mm. they are wouldn't be recruited by me. Uh, yeah, okay. right. Mm. And to me, um, I always believe that um, if you want to attract a real talent, there are three things. First, you need to, the, a real talent will want to look at what is your platform that you are offering to them. Mm. If let's say he's doing so well in his own company, in his company, what would he want to join you if your platform is not big enough for him to grow his career? Second thing will be, of course, the reward is mm. also the key element. Mm. The third thing is about our leadership. Mm. Um, what make you to attract the good talent? First of for all, first you have to be a talent. You have to be a leader, where people will be trust on you and believe of what you say. Mm. Yeah. So you, I attend some of your talks, yeah. and you talk about um, integrated life a lot. Yeah. So can you uh, explain a little bit on what you believe in uh, integrated life? You see, as an entrepreneur, not only entrepreneur, everyone. No one is able to live a balanced life, mm. right? Mm. So, an integrated life is all about, if let's say for this month, I know that f three weekends, I'm not able to spend time with my family. So, I will need to make sure that on the weekday, I will need to spend enough time for my children. Yeah. I'm a father of three daughters. Mm. Great responsibility for myself. Yeah. And I also believe that we need to consciously, constantly putting energy, our resources in other aspects in our life. Yeah. Because life is not about the business. About f five, six years ago, one of my friends introduced this 10 thing to me. 10 thing is about setting goal in 10 areas in our life. So in 10 areas in our life, it's not only the business, it's also the family, it's also the relationship mm. like with our spouses mm. and our uh, personal finance, our friend, our health, our, our um, uh, spiritual, mm. our knowledge wisdom, our community work and, 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 and of course our play and relaxation. Yeah. So for the past five, six years, I've been constantly setting goal in 10 areas in my life and every year, every month and, 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 and even every day and what is the benefit of it and as in today I live a very balanced life not balanced, integrated life mm. like every morning uh, I wake up and see something mm. and devotion, meditation followed by one hour exercise and a simple breakfast and all the schedule has been pre prepared one month in advance. And mm. what is the value of living discipline life? By living discipline, it allow you able to put the energy and the focus in the area, in the subject that is important. Yeah. It can be the issue, it can be business opportunity. Like young people like me might find it hard to live a very integrated life yeah. because of the 10 things that we need to balance out. Yeah. So is there any advices for them? It, let's say if they don't feel like waking up at 6, like you, and you know what, what can they do to actually live another integrated life than yeah. what you just said yeah. in that 10 things? Okay, you see, um, okay, when everyone when it started, it will also find, you see, it take me many years mm. that I able to build a habit that what is mean by habit habit mean you will do it unconsciously mm. like for example if you want to start the exercise the few the first few months you will find you take so much effort constantly effort that i need to wake up and exercise but you just need to start small from one week you just need to start exercise once a week slowly by twice a week and then constantly, it's not only building a habit of doing new things and also building a habit of not doing something. Mm. Like for example, we have been so spending so much time 
on the thing that not important and not urgent. So we may want to build a habit slowly reduce of doing those things. Yeah. It's, it's, it can be spending five, six days per week mi missing mm -hmm. around with friends. Mm -hmm. So not to go very ambitious, big target. Let's say for your wisdom and knowledge a, uh, uh, area of your life where you are not uh, a person that has never been reading a book. We can start with one year read one book. Yeah. And slowly we cultivate a um, habit of once a month, one book, and later, once a month, two books. Mm -hmm. So it's good to have a big target, but the small important thing is start the small yeah. goal, right? Yeah. Like for example, do you wake up in the morning, forget to brush your teeth? No, no right? Yeah. Because it has been a habit. habit. Yeah. yeah, same thing. When we started building a habit, uh, mm -hmm. every time it takes so much effort. But once yeah. it became a habit, it became your life. Because first, a person wants to change his destiny. First, he needs to change his value and perspective. Yeah. And then that dry behavior. From the behavior that gives us habit, habit creates character. Character brings us destiny. If we want to change our destiny, first, we need to have a right perspective and the right habit. A lot of the students nowadays are yeah. fresh graduate, they come out. And like what you say, a little habit makes a big difference in yeah. our life. What are some of the advices um, you have learned through your younger days where you are slowly climbing up into this um, CEO place in uh, Chinhin Group and um, for sure there is ups and downs. Mm. So what are some of the advices you can give to the young people now? Mm. I believe that before we decide our direction, what are we doing? What are we going to do? And which career are we pursuing? First, we do need to know about ourselves. Mm. Identify a direction. It can be so simple as knowing ourselves. There are many tools available like DRSC, mm. Strength Finder, and then knowing your strength and weaknesses, your passion, your mm. purpose. After you know yourself so well, like, like for example, if you are the person that outspoken and you are easygoing and, and you have a specific interest on this specific um, industry, so it became not so difficult to know which direction that you should pursue. Yeah. So I always advise that before choosing any direction, first, we need to know about ourselves, our mm -hmm. passion. Of course, the two things which is very important, constantly uh, asking for feedback. Mm. And of course, getting the feedback from a group of positive people. Okay. Yeah, because you see, I, who you are, is all depend which are the five person that you spend most of the time. So you can imagine that who we are by looking around who are our five closer friends. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. If five of our closer friends are all the positive people, and then you can also imagine that we are also a positive people, yeah. right? Yeah. So, and I also believe that um, you are before 30 years old, right? Yeah. 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 So I always believe that for young people before 30 years old, never committed in any investment. Mm. Even though uh, I own a listed company and also property business, I also do not encourage to buy into my, my, yeah. my share or even my property. Why? Because young people should spend the resources into ourselves, our knowledge, our mm. network, our skill set. Okay. What if you commit a big investment at a young age, when you identify an opportunity that requires a big changes decision, will you able to make that decision? Mm. Somehow, you may not, yeah. because you are committed. Yeah, yeah the fix, uh, the, the, the commitment. Mm. So, I always believe that before 20 to 30 years old, use the resources to build your networks, yeah. attend courses, 
build a skill set mm. and mix around with the right people, have a right mindset. Mm. That's more important. So if you talk about skills and traits, um, yeah. what has what what are some of the skills and traits you have that time where it brought you up to where you are right now? I believe um, mm, goal setting and execution. Yeah. Goal setting and execution. Um, why is that important? Um, if we never plan our life, mm. we are basically living a reactive life. What do you mean by reactive? Yeah. If we never plan our life, we basically react to what happened to us, who we met, and then what happened surrounding us. Mm. So if we able to plan ahead, then we will become proactive to be, to respond to what we wanted to be, right? Yeah. If let's say there are certain kind of person that we wanted to be, then when we plan ahead, then we able to respond positively to anything neg negative that happened to us, right? Like for example, um, and if you know that if let's say talk about yourself, if you want to be a positive person, a cheerful person, a mm. friendly person, mm. then you will not, and whoever you met who are not cheerful, who are not positive, which are, who are negative, yeah. and you will proactive respond it uh, 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 differently. Yeah. yeah, so I believe that goal setting and execution and and we planning and if we able to plan our life well then we will have more time to pursue something that beside our career mm. our passion our interest because and also our family yeah. the community works there are so many things that are even more important than business mm. Mm. yeah so I think planning is very important. Planning is yeah. important. Thank you so much for your time yeah. today. And uh, I believe that a lot of our audience and even myself, we get a lot from you. Yeah. So we wish you all the best in your uh, yeah. current company and the company to yeah. come later on. Thank you so okay. much.